Hi everyone, I'm Travis with Dad Bob Beer Reviews, bringing you a special beer today, uh, Scheinerbach. It's our very first beer that, we've, that we're going to be reviewing for the uh, Dad Bob Beer Review series. Um, the video is being sponsored by Design for Life. Got their cool little t-shirt on right here. There's a design on the back. It's cold outside, so that's why I'm wearing the Carhartt. But um, really cool thing with this Shiner beer. Started in Shiner, Texas in 1909 when the townspeople found a really cool thing. Their own water. Like they're, and they still, to this day, brew their Shinerbach beer with water from Shiner, from their well, their natural spring area. Um, which brings us to Cosmos Spotzel, which I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing correctly. I could be wrong, but hey, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, he's Bavarian, came down, he purchased the town's uh, brewery, and he was the brewmaster for half a century. The beer that we're doing today is the one that I would call their flagship beer. It's Scheinerbach. They have hundreds of different flavors and things that they do, different varieties of beer that they brew at, down there in the brewery. Um, the list just goes on and on and on. It really is an extensive list. Um, it really shows the creativity of this uh, brewery, uh, the Spotsil Brewery, and what they're capable of doing. Um, this beer right here um, started in 1913 and was became so popular down in uh, local parts of Texas that they finally decided to listen to their consumer and their customers. And in 1973, it went from being a seasonal beer to an all year round beer. And we're gonna find out if it's good enough and if it passes the rating to be considered a good all around year beer. So getting into that, um, this beer has won multiple awards. The latest award that they won was a silver in the 2019 Australian International Beer Awards. So that's pretty impressive. Um, one thing that we're going to be doing is uh, after we get the taste down and things like that, I'll, I'll give you the ABV and the IBU for those of you that uh, have an interest in that kind of stuff and want to know that, those kind of things. So now that we've got a little bit of brief history of the brewery, um, we got a brief history of the gentleman that um, brews the beer, or their previous brewmaster, um, let's go ahead and crack this open and give us and see what this is all about. So just uh, upon initial initial look at the beer, a lot of carbonation, a lot of carbonation. It's good, it's bubbly. You can see that you can see the good amber colors in this. Um, so it's a Shinerbach, and it's brewed, and it's labeled what it says here on their website as an American style dark lager. Um, it's gonna have a rich, it's supposedly gonna have a rich toast, rich roasted barley malt and German specialty hops. So let's go ahead and give this a try. Uh, we'll take a little sip and we'll see how it rates on our beer scale. Uh, the beer scale, just for uh, future reference, is gonna be popping up in either this corner, this corner, this corner, or this corner. I don't know, I don't do the editing, my guy does. Um, you'll see him in the behind the scenes photos on our Facebook and Instagram. Uh, just look up Dad Bob Beer Review. And um, so, yeah, he'll be posting that. And uh, it's just going to give a, it's a quick scale, real easy, simple, one through five. One is the worst, five is the best. And we're going to see how these beers rate. We're going to be going all across the country to rate these beers. We're going to be getting beers from all over the place and all over the world. So, when you're watching these, if you think of a beer that you would like for us to try, put it in the comments below. Let us know, and I will do my best to hunt down that beer and give it a shot and give, give a review on it. Who knows? You might turn me on to something new that I've never even tried before.
So let's give it a shot and see how it goes. From initial taste, you can definitely taste a little bit of sweetness. You definitely can. There's a there's just a touch of a touch of sweet, but it's not it's not an overbearing. Um, and like you can taste a little bit of it. It's and it's not bad. It's not overpowering. This is definitely definitely a good beer. I mean, it goes down really easy. It's a really smooth beer. Um, and of course, I've been having this set in my fridge for a couple hours, letting it cool down. And everything. Who doesn't like an ice cold beer? You can definitely taste the taste the kind of those earthy tones. Um, it's really good. I love the collar on it. You know, it's got that. It's got a really cool amber collar to it. That uh, I've when I've seen it poured in glasses before, it looks kind of light. But then as it sets, it'll kind of darken a little bit. I don't know if maybe that's just the lighting in the rooms that I'm in, the bar rooms or whatever. Um, but yeah, it's it's really good. Um, you can see at the top, it kind of gets a little bit darker. Down at the bottom, it's kind of lighter. Um, yeah, just a really smooth beer. Um, I'm really impressed. I definitely got to say that uh, I think on our rating scale. I'm gonna give this a solid four. I mean, this is definitely a beer. I understand why now it's an all-season beer. I understand why the customers back in the early days, back in the early 20th century, were keen to this beer and took to it. It's just a really smooth beer. It's not too. It's not real strong. I don't. I don't know if you, you might know what I'm talking about. Like sometimes you get a beer that's either too earthy. It's too hoppy, it's, you know, sometimes it's just overpowering, and it's kind of hard to enjoy, or um, sometimes that, that, that taste just, it doesn't pair well with certain things. I could definitely sit down and eat a steak and drink this, especially, you know, draft, if it was draft, um, of course we got bottle of the day, but uh, definitely really good. Um, like I said, I'm going to give it a solid four on the rating scale. Um, if you're having a barbecue at your house, it wouldn't hurt to have a cooler with some of these in it. If you're ever sitting around the fire pit with all the kids running around, hanging out with your friends and family, it wouldn't hurt to have some of this with you. I mean, uh, it's really good. Highly recommended. Um, I'm going to have one more sip. And one thing that I was noticing on the back of these bottles that's really cool is they give you a cool little brief history right here about about their town, sometimes about the beer. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. So um, I'll just read it real quick to you. Uh, every drop of Shiner beer is brewed right here in Shiner, Texas. Uh, they didn't, actually has a population, 2,069 people. Um, first brewed in 1913, we already knew that. American style Bach, clean flavor, slightly sweet finish. There you go. So I definitely think uh, we're gonna review some different beers from Shiner Bach as we go through, and but I, not gonna be just strictly. But uh, yeah, if you like the video and you wanna see some other beers, you have other beers in mind that you want us to taste and try, hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, check out the social media pages, uh, we'll have links in the description below. Uh, we'll also have uh, Design for Life, a link for that, also down there as well. Check them out, really cool. Um, yeah, have a good day.